Hey everyone, another week has come and gone and it's time for another episode of Jellystone TV. We have another action packed episode for you and we will be giving you an inside look of tie-dye and we will also be going outside of Jellystone Park and showing you some things to do around the area. So hold on tight, it's episode number four on Jellystone TV. On this week's episode of Jellystone TV, we are going to spotlight tie-dye. Tie-dye is a frequent activity occurring here at Jellystone Park every week, and this episode we are going to see what it is all about. T-shirt tie-dye is one of the most favorite and popular activities in Jellystone. Tie-dye takes place inside and outside of Yogi's Theater. Inside the theater, guests are able to purchase Jellystone t-shirts for $10 or guests can bring their own t-shirt to tie-dye for $3. All prizes include the gloves, rubber bands, color dyes, and brushes necessary to complete the tie-dye process. Our activity staff will help all guests every step of the way. To start off, guests can choose to make a bullseye design or a spiral design, and the activity staff can tie their rubber bands for them. Then, guests can color their t-shirts however they like and at the very end, the activity staff can check their shirts and untie them. So be sure to check the activity schedule and come on out to T-shirt tie-dye. Nice, good job. As you just saw, Tie-dye is something for all ages, and it is a must-do while here at Jellystone Park. Next up, we're going to show you some guests who spoke about Jellystone Park and told why they come here and what they like about it here. My favorite thing about Jellystone is having fun and being with my family. I've been here once, and my favorite thing is the slide. My favorite thing to do is go down the water slide and get wet. I've been here twice and my favorite thing is the slide because I've been on it like 50 times today. I've been here since I was two and I like the jumping pillows because they're fun! Ow. My favorite thing at Jellystone is the water slide. I've been here five times and my favorite thing is the water slide. Uh, this is my second time I eat here and my favorite thing is the jumping pillow because you get to jump and you can go Go in the pool on the water slide. This is my first time here. My favorite thing is the water slide. And then we'll spell off. As you just saw, those families had a great Jellystone experience. And we look forward to seeing you come to Jellystone Park, whether you're a first time guest or a returning guest. And now, let's take a look of what to do around Luray. The first attraction to talk about is the Luray Visitor Center, located near the traffic light of Business 211 and Business 340. This visitor center used to be an old train station and a couple years ago was converted into a visitor center where you can go and pick up brochures and find more information about things to do in Luray and in Page County. Right now I'm at Ruffner Plaza which is located at a portion of the Luray Greenway. The Ruffner Plaza is home to the Evenings on Main concert series which features local artists and entertainment. All entertainment acts are free and open to the public and you can check out who will be in town and on which dates by going online. While you're in Jellystone Park, you'll want to make sure you check out Downtown Luray. Downtown Luray is full of restaurants, shops, churches, a movie theater, bowling alley, and a performing arts center and more. There are many festivals and activities that take place in Downtown Luray throughout the year, so be sure to check out the Town of Luray website and the Downtown website. Also be sure to check out the Performing Arts Center website where you can see what upcoming performances there will be while you have your stay here in the Luray area. Parking for downtown is easily accessible 
There are multiple lots around the downtown area, all free of charge. One of the things you want to check out while in the Luray area is the Luray Greenway. The Luray Greenway is a 3.2 mile paved surface that runs along the Hawksville Creek and intersects with the downtown area. This greenway serves home to many events that occur throughout the year, such as the farmers markets and the July 4th Family Fun Day. It's hard to go through Luray and not take note of what all the Luray Caverns has to offer. Behind me is the Luray Cavern Singing Tower, where there are special performances each month, where this tower's bells will put on a really great performance. Across the road from the Singing Tower is the main Luray Caverns complex, where of course you have the Caverns Tours, but you also have a garden maze, a Luray Valley Museum, and a car and carriage museum. And the new attraction this year is zipline tours going on just above the hill of the main Luray Caverns complex. Nearby the main Luray Caverns complex is the Luray Caverns Country Club, which is an 18-hole golf course which is full of spectacular views and scenery. So there's a small look of what all you can do in Luray. In addition to what we talked about, there is Lake Arrowhead and great recreational fields that you can take advantage of while you're staying in Luray. Remember to, to go to the Town of Luray website, the Downtown Luray website, the Caverns website, and the Performing Arts Center website where you can get a full understanding of what all you can do while you're staying in Luray. This week here at Jellystone is one of Boo Boo's favorite weeks. It's Boo Boo's Dinorific Expedition, and this week is filled with dinosaurs, fossils, and of course, fun. During the week, there will be special activities such as T-Rex relays, searching for dinosaur eggs, going on a fossil dig, and during craft times, you will be able to make a dinosaur mask. Beginning on June 20th, there will be five occurrences of one of the bears coming out throughout the park, so this will give you many chances to get your picture taken or a hug from Yogi, Cindy, or Boo Boo. Again, they will be out five times every day beginning on June 20th and lasting until August 20th. And just as a reminder, once you get into the park, be sure to pick up the latest activity schedule from registration. Before we end, we would like to show you this photo sent in by one of our guests here at Jellystone. This photo was of the storm that rolled through last week, and it was taken from the sites above the playground area, and as you can see, some really weird looking clouds. I can't say that I've ever seen a storm that weird looking in quite a long time. We thank you for watching, and we hope you have a great rest of the week. We will see you at Jellystone. I'm Nolan. God bless.